Everybody likes having some standing 
Uh, just to be uh, a little nice to people who need seats, I'm noticing there are a lot of empty seats, and if there's a seat between you and the person next to you, can you all like move in together? Because I know this might be a pretty packed room, but we are all friendly here, and we are all going to get along, so no empty seats, everybody. Remember, so... I'm gonna bet it be now. <laughs> So little love, so little love. We love you, we hate each other. Hey, love makes the world go round, man. You see, I, I used to work at a movie theater, and this is what we used to do when we used to have a full house. Everybody look to your left. Everybody look to your right. Now, if you don't see somebody next to you, move over. <laughs> If you do see someone next to you, shake their hand and make friends, because you're going to be there for a while. Perfect this one. Make friends, or at least in front of me. Yeah, don't worry. It doesn't hurt to talk to them. in the middle of our winter and get like thigh-high snow. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. I, it, I'm considering. <laughs> Careful the summer. Ah. He's eating summer first. Yeah. But uh, just to get these uh, introductions out of the way as people are still coming in. Hello everybody who's coming in. Uh, I am Lanny Vador. Still don't get used to that. Um, I uh, am the co-writer, co-creator, and co-star of Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Yeah! yeah. You. I uh, voice Vegeta, Krillin, Piccolo, and a uh, certain terrifying abomination known as Mr. Popo. <laughs> And 
you are. <laughs> I'm Kaiser Neko. Cool. <laughs> That was, that was almost on your <laughs> <laughs> You have long to go, young grasshopper. <laughs> yeah. um, let me try that again. Um, I'm Kaiser Neko. <laughs> I heard a boo that time. <laughs> <laughs> I am appalled. I would never do such a thing to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a I'm co writer, co founder, and. Uh, co-star and editor of Dragon Ball Z at Rage. Yeah. 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 Got me, this wouldn't happen. <laughs> I was applauding you, you bastard. Don't get on company. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We saw you in episode 12. Yeah, actually, um, that I was weird. I, I, like, I, that was just kind of a decision of like getting a little bit surreal and I can't like I'm the only person who's ever actually shown their face in the show. Not true. Oh, well, okay. He, his face is on the Melchior. I am, I am the Melchior people. <laughs> uh, I play a certain uh, Faye couple, well, it's all one. Um, Woo! I'm gonna hold the mic away from my face. I'm King Kai! <laughs> um, and I also, and I've, I've had like one line as in, um, um, I'm Trunks. Which, you know, he's gonna show up like in so many episodes later, so you know, just just hold that. Um, <laughs> and then we have um, Mr. Little Kriva. <laughs> I'm not impressed. I still have eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> and I have absolutely no creative sway on the show whatsoever. But I do play a certain character. You may know him as. No, no. Freeza, 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 freeza! Please tell me, is that actually your ringtone now? Because that's, that's hilarious. My ringtone, yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> I should say glorious. There we go. Turn it off. But yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> now, uh, this uh, primarily is a Q and A panel, so I know a lot of you out there probably have questions for us about the show, etc., etc. And uh, we'd love to answer it for you. And uh, later on in the panel, we have a treat for you, especially once we get everybody in here that we can possibly fit in here without breaking fire code. Yeah, we, have, we want we want everyone we can get in here before we uh, show it. And, and I can I, I give you a hint as to what it is. It's on the screen. <laughs> yeah, um, we are actually showing PCC uh, directly after Mahogany. <laughs> it's a double yeah. feature. Oh, and there's something called episode 25 on there. What's that about? Oh. I have no clue. Where did that come from? <laughs> was, that, was that what happened to you blacked out last week? No, that's Jesus Shirt 2. Oh, Jesus Shirt 2 and then 3, the sequel. <laughs> Actually, no, it's three, part two. <laughs> we don't know what happened to part one, but it involved some sort of, like, rising and yada yada yada, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'd love to get to your guys' questions, as I'm sure some of you are burning to ask a couple. Or maybe Burn, not. damn you! Burn! <laughs> I, I, the first hand I saw was back there, you in the blonde wig. I will kill you! <laughs> not only not only because we hear that question, but I feel <laughs> Martin Crew! Get back in your head! No! Get, put that bus down, Martin Crew! Ma Martin Crew! If you eat those people, you will spoil your food! Martin Crew! No! Put that put that put that man down! Do not eat him! No! no. I hope you look forward to that episode. Oh, yeah. the, I hope you look forward to that episode within the next decade. <laughs> it's worth the light. Alright, so next person, next person. I'm gonna choose the next one. You! Okay. Nine minutes, eighteen seconds. What was the happiest moment of Vegeta's life? Nine minutes, eighteen seconds oh. was the moment Nappa perished from this earth by my hand. <laughs> the time code on the episode is nine minutes, eighteen seconds. I'm haunting you. 
I'm not going to yell into this microphone as I believe that would go poorly. <laughs> okay, would you like to choose somebody? Uh, that was scripted, and it was one. It was one of those jokes that I believe if we could go back to it, Kaiser would want to eradicate from this planet. Well, it, it, mostly because um, it, when we started earlier on, we weren't sure what the kind of tone would be for the show. Um, we were playing it a little bit more silly and off the off the cuff, and then we decided that we'd play a little bit more to the story. Um, so yeah, it's probably a joke that wouldn't stay, but it was a joke that we wanted to make because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, 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 we wanted to play a little bit more like um, closer to the plot line. Uh, <laughs> yes, plot line. Uh, but he doesn't want us breaking the fourth wall every ten seconds. Yeah. We're, 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 like we decided that instead of going a more traditional route, like uh, okay, we wanted to play a little bit more like Venture Brothers, where we mix some serious with some comedy and try to um, you know try try to play a familiar drama. But um, in the end. Uh, Really, the joke came from that, that Vegeta really wanted to play Raditz as Jason. Yeah, Jason. actually, I got the entire story of this joke, the reason that one came into play. Now, um, Vegeta3986, he's a cool guy, but he likes writing a bunch of in-jokes into his material. And this in-joke happened to make it into our material. <laughs> it's the fact that uh, he really likes the... Uh, was it Blue Ocean, Ocean. Ocean? Ocean. He likes the Ocean dub, like the Canadian dub of Dragon Ball Z. And uh, in that, they call uh, Raditz, like Raditz claims his attack is keep your eye on the birdie, which I don't actually think is the name of the attack, but he always liked that phrase more. Now, he hates the term Double Sunday, despite the fact that that's what the attack is actually called. Yeah. So when I say, Eat this. Double suck. No. And that's where that joke comes in. Yeah. Not only did he want to play Raditz, and he, like, I, I was doing my impression of a Justin Cook Raditz there from the beginning, so it's more like the Funimation dub. But then uh, he hates the terminology, and he really wanted to play Raditz, and he, yeah, that, that's where that came from. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> well, actually, there's, there's a joke behind that on um, episode 20. Um, was it 20? Yeah, it's 20. Yeah. Show the Spacey's commercial. We have a Sunday there. And, oh, it's and one rabbit. The double Sunday for one rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, alright, let's see. Uh, I believe it's her turn. Alright. Jiraiya. Takahata 101, who unfortunately could not be here at this time. We, yeah. hope, that, we hope that he can be here next year, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Taka, the Taka is a good friend of ours. We've worked with him for a long time, and we really want him out here next year. So, hopefully that'll, that'll turn out. Uh, let's see, who's the next person? Mr. Gumshoe. How is it take to edit the episode? Thomas. See, sometimes that varies. Uh, for this one, I worked really, really hard to get this one done. What was it, was it about like seven, a week, right? Uh, about Kaiser about went insane. Oh, man. I, well, here, here's the thing. We, uh, we did the Kai episode, and as soon as I got that done, I started on the actual episode, like, a week before I had to leave. I had the episode done on, um, uh, Well, on you didn't my... even have all the parts that you needed to edit it together but by then. I, I, yeah, but I still started it. Yeah. And I, 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 I got Taka's lines, like, on Thursday. Yeah, two days before we flew out. Yeah, and so, um, like, it's all done on Saturday night. I had to leave Monday, so Sunday I, it was my only day to, like, decompress and gain some of my sanity back before I had a, like, 30-hour flight. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it can take you about a week. It really, it really just depends on how visually intensive the episode is, you know, some, and, and how much lip sync. Like, the more and more lip sync there is, the longer it's going to take, because that's a tedious process. Really, the longest process of putting an episode together is both the writing and collecting of the lines that we need, and then collecting redos for people who need to do like redo uh, redos of certain lines. Yeah, that's why episodes usually take as long as they do. Okay, would you like to? Yeah. Uh, Way on the left, uh, the gentleman. That... Now, is Popo a rapist or not? <laughs> I'm never gonna say it flat out. So what happened to Popo? He was assimilated. <laughs> we are Popo. We are what? <laughs> no, it's Popo. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you've had your hand up for a while. I've always wondered what a conversation between 
Vegeta and Seto Kaiba would be alike. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, you, uh, you play cards. <laughs> yes, you play with your balls. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a very disdainful person, you know that? <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> I think I like you. Hey, Only got a spacey's. <laughs> I hear there are double Sundays to die for. <laughs> Literally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You clearly have the voice for Boo. How many episodes uh, ahead have you planned? We plan? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, we don't really plan full episodes ahead. We have little jokes in our heads and little ideas that we really want to add in, but we never actually think, oh, this is what's going to happen this episode. Yeah, we, told, we totally want that, but we'll, we will have jokes and stuff from that episode ahead of time, where we'll try to work it into our script. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, like, I, I know that, I know that uh, we've got certain characters planned, like for the Cell Saga. We don't have a lot of like really big jokes planned, but we have characters written. Um, you know, for 17, 18, Cell, Gero, um, you know, we have... We have characters planned out, and we try to write jokes around those characters we plan. Um, you know, we have some plot points set up for certain jokes, um, and a lot of the stuff through Frieza we, we were, we're stockpiling. But for the most part, a lot of the jokes we come up with are stuff that, you know, it's when we're writing an episode. Uh, although, finally, in this episode, one of the big jokes we've had yes. planned for one of the jokes. Yeah, we, we thought of this joke so long ago, but we finally got to do it, and it came out gloriously. Yeah. <laughs> Don't spoil it. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, we don't. Well, we'll give you the biggest spoiler of all, which is actually showing it to you. Don't spoil it, you're up to it. That's a pretty big spoiler. Awesome. Duke, is it Duke Devlin right in the back? Yes. What? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea, Nappa. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I plan ahead even less than these guys, so I have no idea. I just see you sitting at a computer. That sounds good. Yes. Next. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you've had your hand up for a while. Are you sick of people pointing ghost snap to you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I'm necessarily sick of it, but it really depends. It depends on the quote. Because there was one time when I was at a convention, this was when I was by myself, mind you. You guys weren't there. And I was just walking around, and three people were following me doing their best ghost nap up, saying, are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, they bloody they followed me for like a half an hour. <laughs> I had nowhere else to go. I didn't have a room there. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next person. Uh, who's, who's had that hand up for a long time? And the pink hand, the Yachi. That's my <laughs> <laughs>
me. It's, it's just. Uh, are you are you addressing this to everybody? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Do you want to go first, one? Me? You're the one who started it. <laughs> uh, well, at the end of the day, my 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 one piece of advice that I honestly it's the only piece of advice I can give you is make it to have fun and make it not not necessarily to you know don't don't do it to be famous or anything like that because it honestly it's, there's an astronomical chance uh, of it happening it's it's like a one in a million thing and and frankly the only reason these guys were able to do it is because they are one in a million in my opinion. But at the end of the day. Uh, do it, do it to have fun, and, and you won't fail. You can't fail if you do it for that reason. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people who get into it being like, like I, I think there are a good number of people out there who have tried like 80 or 90 different projects, trying to be like, maybe this will be my key to success. Why don't people love me? Because you don't stick to one thing. You're doing it for the wrong reasons, and as long as you're doing it to have fun, like he said, if you're doing it to have fun, that's the one motivation. And if people like it. That's better. I mean, I started uh, you, you doing Yu Yu Hakusho Abridged. Anybody actually remember that? Yeah. Like crap, people remember it. Uh, What's the new episode? I actually have a script written out and it's half edited. So there you go. I just haven't had a lot of time to work on it. Obviously, I had a convention last weekend and now I'm here. Uh, but, yes, horrible, horrible excuses. <laughs> But uh, the reason I started it was because, um, quite literally, I had nothing better to do with my time. I just injured myself playing rugby. I was at kind of a low point in my life. Um, and I find Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge, and I'm like, this is pretty awesome. That I see a couple others online, and I'm like, yeah, sure, why don't I give it a shot? I had the uh, complete series of Yu-Yu Hakusho on DVD, so I ripped it from my DVDs. Always support the official release. Um, <laughs> and uh, I started editing, and that entire night, my first episode of Yu Yu Show Bridge was entirely improv. Like, I edited, but every scene I looked at, I'm like, okay, what do I want to do here? Okay, I'll do that. And I just uh, quoted out some Yusuke Urumeshi and Kazuma Kuwabara. And apparently, uh, I, I'm not entirely sure I found my entire first episode that funny, but I guess my voices were good enough that people were like, hey, this is pretty good. So I got some positive feedback, and that really helped me out. I went on a huge tangent there. Go ahead, Kaiser. Honestly, it, it, there is a certain quality to your product if you're doing it for fun. Like, you know, Naruto, the Naruto spoof you do, it's, it's so much fun. It is like, like as, as, as much polish as there is to you, though, even you'll admit, you have so much fun with Naruto. And it shows. Because it's just off the wall and, and, and just so much fun. And as soon as you think you're out, they draw you back in. And, and you really notice that. It, 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 all comes with, it, it all comes from what you find funny and, and what, you know, what makes you laugh. And if, if you put that into your product, you're more likely to get a positive response because if you sit down there and like try and calculate a joke, if you try and you know like play to people, it's not going to turn out. You're just going to come up with something that feels manufactured. And, you know, you know, I, I put a lot of time and effort into the show, but it's also fun for me. I enjoy this. It's a passion, and you really it, all you need to do is just. Enjoy your enjoy doing it, and it's probably going to turn out. You know, someone's going to enjoy it, and, and the best part is you have to enjoy it. All right, now we're about uh, a little under halfway through this panel. It's about this time that we'd uh, like to premiere episode twenty-five for you guys. Yeah. We like doing this about halfway through, so at least you guys can ask some questions about this after, you know, watching it. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to open this sucker up and then hopefully I don't need to do it. Yep, maximize it. Okay, just double click it. Yeah, the audio is crap. We missed two seconds. No! No! There we go. It's 11 minutes. Hold on, I need to, I need to figure out what the audio is. I have a squirrel. It goes beep, beep, beep. <laughs> yeah, they should. No, no, no. They waste time. I want to know about more. 
Helsing I'm, I'm not getting any sleep. Helsing Bridge. who does that? Who does one of the voices? Helsing Bridge, I don't know, but they've done an episode. Yeah, an episode. That's what Yeah, and okay, so they've done four. They've done Halloween, they bring another one out. What? Episode 2 comes Halloween. Halloween. It's yeah. funny because I'm not going to be sleeping and then goes, for 40 hours. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no one heard it. Um, All the way! <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not at many minutes now. It's, it's not going through the loudspeakers. We need somebody to hook this up to the actual speakers. Let's <laughs> <laughs> bend the microphone around. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. If I cut the episode out, I might actually fit the We need a tech priest. Fuji TV, oh. Akira Toriyama, please support the official release. <laughs> what was that idiot doing bringing me here? It's... Oh, I can't wait. Wait a minute. I can feel it. This is my home. I can finally see its beauty. The lush blue fields. The crystal clear waters. The wind brushing past my... God, this is boring! <laughs> no wonder I feel at home. <laughs> pulled it off. You've managed to dash my hopes entirely. With some help, I see. Mark! No, seriously, no helping. I can try! <laughs> Where exactly are you from? Gohan, no! Alright! Oh, Thanks for stopping me, Gohan, because I can't shut- They're from Earth. Oh. <laughs> because my name is Dende. <laughs> I'm there on the way home. Pick up some space eggs, some space milk, and blow it up! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm usually far more composed. I'm just a little bit absolutely livid. Oh, please, I quit being such a woman. I lost my chance of immortality too, and you don't see me crying about it. Yes, Vegeta, but you see, the difference between us is I'll live long enough to regret it. <sighs> Everything looks the goddamn same in this goddamn way. Body, social activity! Please tell me you're not dead. Please. He's shot. Stuck! Ah, oh, crap. I found the only living thing for miles, and he's so broken he can't even talk right. I was speaking to Mechie, and you idiot. Don't you know anything about your own people? Well, we're demons, right? Eh, yeah, more like slug people. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I liked it better when I was a demon. And I liked it better when I had proper bladder control. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I'm meaning to ask about that. What happened? Let's just say our world elder's kind of a giant green asshole. Preaching with a choir on that one. Well, it's been fun, but I have to go die again. Wait, I might be able to help you. Look, buddy, if you want to have me on MySpace, I switched to Spacebook a while ago. <laughs> Listen, I think I know something that might work out for both of us. I don't want to die, and you seem pretty lonely. Just prove I mean, go on. There's a special ability our people share, forbidden even amongst our most sacred clans. And we're just going to abuse it? Oh, maliciously. <laughs> First, you put your hand upon me. Okay. Yes. Like that. Lower. Uh -huh. Lower. Ah, if we had junk, you'd be gay right now. <laughs> wow, unreal. My gosh. This is amazing. I feel incredible. Yes, 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 yes. I can win. I can drink. I can do this. Nothing. Really? Because it looked like you were chanting to yourself. <laughs> in my head. Yo, don't worry. Supposedly I should fade away into your subconscious. Sooner or later. Okay, so what now? By my estimate, this fusion should have given you just enough power to wipe out the bastard who killed our people. And? Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. 
You can win! You can win! You can do this! Oh, wow. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. I'm impressed, Vegeta. When did you graduate from pull-ups? About the same time you got off the rag. Cute, but bear no false hope, Vegeta. You are a mere paper tiger in front of a storm. You have no idea what true power I possess. So you can transform, right? I can transform. Okay, when and how? Goldo told me. <laughs> so, did you know the Freeza can transform? Huh, all right. Yeah, and Birder's gay. Really? <laughs> through a dog trainer, true story. Right. But if you are so aware, why do you persist in goading me? Because, Frieza, you're not dealing with the average Saiyan warrior anymore. I am a Super Saiyan! Oh, here we go. That's right, Frieza. I've risen beyond the limits of a normal Saiyan and into the realm of legend. The legend that you fear. The legend known throughout the entire universe as the most powerful warrior to ever exist. I, Prince Vegeta, have become a Super Saiyan. Blah, 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 I get it. <laughs> then you slayed the Jabberwocky and went on to save Narnia. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. So why don't you doll yourself up and get ready for a night on the town? Because I'm about to take you to a ballroom blitz. Fine, I'll indulge you, Mr. Super Saiyan. But before I do, I have a funny little story I'd like to tell you. Funny how? I like to call it, I killed your dad. <laughs> so, ha ha funny. You see, thanks to a rogue lower class warrior, your father caught wind of my plans. King Vegeta, I have urgent news. Speak, Butorega. Bardock has gone absolutely mad, sire. What's all the commotion about? He's been telling everyone that Frieza plans to destroy Vegeta. Wait, my son, the planet or me? <laughs> yes. Counselor <laughs> Gamma, what do you think? Let me tell you what you need to do. You need to sit him down. Uh -huh. You look him dead in the eye. Yes. And you say, don't blow up my planet. <laughs> He'd have to be awfully evil if it didn't. I'm not gonna lie, I like the cut of his jib. All right, but I want you to take my son, the prince, off planet just in case things go south. Don't worry, sir, you'll do just fine. Prince, can I sit down and have a word for you? <laughs> How did you know about the parts you weren't there for? <laughs> All done. And judging by the expression on your face, so are you. What? How? Let's be practical and put a number to that feeling, shall we? Last time I clocked this form, it was at one million. You're lying! Am I? Am I really? Yeah, how's that feel, Frieza? <laughs> Don't you think you're sorry ass 
pants up and take on a real thing. <laughs> that happened. Vegeta, mind sitting right there for just a moment. I need to go play babysitter. Uh, Fink, what would Dad do in this situation? Bye, son. I'm beginning to think I have issues. <laughs> So, Vegeta, does this get you angry? Not really, kind of a smartass. Well then, why am I even bothering? Because you get off on it. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> oh. All right, who has the balls? He was immortal. was it to uh, do a couple lightning round questions so I think we'll do like one each lightning round and uh, I think then we have to start clearing out this room because honestly it is starting to get kind of sweltering in here with all of you fine warm bodies <laughs> all right so uh, let's see I, I, I know you uh, got you've had your hand up for a while sir red shirt I believe or Out of all the episodes, which one is my personal favorite? Um, personally, I think Namekamania is one of my favorites. Other than that, um, the uh, fake Namek. I, that's one of my favorites uh, only because I really like doing the Plutonian voice. <laughs> I like doing this voice here. Oh look, there's another Dragon Ball on the leg. You should go get it! <laughs> um, I'd have to say uh, 4 or 24, actually. 
um, or because of a lot of the visual edits I did were a whole lot of fun in 24, just because it turned out better than we thought it would. So, what about you? What's your favorite? Honestly, uh, it's not because it's, my, it's the funniest new weapon, but episode 10, was that the one where it's Vegeta versus Goku? Yeah. 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 Just because <laughs> I, I, I hadn't seen the series before, and just getting to that point, it was kind of like the climax of the whole like Saiyan <laughs> saga, and I was just really excited to see them finally go at it, and it was oh, really cool. You guys pulled it off really well. I was genuinely excited, and it was funny as well, but I was really into the story at that point. So Thank you. Blew me away. Gum drops of ice cream. All right, Kazu, you choose one more, then okay, choose one more. All right. Um, more the ball in the you, you've held your hand up ever since you asked your other question, so... If we could change any one character's voice... The Vegeta um, asshole. <laughs> I don't know, um... I think Trunks is sounding mighty whiny these days. Yeah. But, uh, in all seriousness, I don't know, we usually cast, uh... We usually cast the way we really want things to sound, so... Yeah, I can't we're, we're usually pretty cautious about it. I mean, we've made a couple of changes here and there, but that has usually been because of lack of communication or something. Yeah, um, I can't really think of... Huh? Yeah, yes, like I said, the lack of communication. Yeah. Like, we can't get a hold of somebody as often as we'd want to, it's kind of the way it goes. Yeah, we, we made that decision because we just needed to continue on, and unfortunately, Jude is not always available. Um, but, um, thank you, thank you, it's Weekly Tube Show, he's very good. Uh, let's see, um... Uh, was somebody with a gun, somebody had a gun holding that uh, yeah, yes. the, the gun way back there in the corner. Yes. Uh, was oh, okay. Uh, right there. Uh, I was wondering what programs do you use to edit your videos? Uh, I use Adobe Premiere for, to edit. Uh, I desk to, <coughs> to record, uh, Photoshop to do a lot of the visual editing, and After Effects to do some sparky stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, I, th I think we can do one more, because that one was really quick. Um, who really wants it? All I'm seeing is waving hands. Who yes! really wants it? Okay, there we go. First person to actually stand up. Yes. My friend couldn't come today, and I, little Kramer, and you guys signed my bag yesterday, and she said she would hate me forever if I didn't get you Okay, okay we, we can do that directly after, but who really wants a question answer? Yes. You, sir, back there at the dual disc. What's that? Um, um, I think we have a preliminary cast right now. I think, uh, who, who is 17? 17 is going to be Antvish, who did uh, Ginyu. It's going to be amazing, trust me. Um, yeah, as for 18, we are still slightly undecided there. Yeah, we're, we're, still, we're still kind of uh, trying to find out who exactly is we're, we're, we're trying to find out how we want to write her, first of all. Yeah. Um, and 16, HBI2K. Yeah, 16 is HBI. Woo! HBI2K. Cell is going to be Takahata 101, and he can and he is freaking giddy about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I think that's about all we have time for because we have to start clearing out this room for something. I'm sorry, guys. But we love you all, and we'll see you around. Here. Remember, we have an 18 plus panel coming up tonight at five. Can't wait. Yep, 18 plus at five o'clock. And then we have a super secret panel that nobody should know about tomorrow. Just check your schedules. I'm not entirely sure what time. I do not have my cheat sheet on me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>